Greetings fellow gamers. Mr. Chris here with another missed survival as you can see. Um, also as you can see I have no continue file because I have started a new game. Well, I'm going to start a new game. I went in to test out the uh, new updated things and I felt like I needed to restart because well I wasted a lot of things because of that. Um, so anyway let's get started here. The main thing that has changed is they've changed it to where the static cars that you could destroy, um, they no longer respawn, and they drop engines now. Um, I don't know if that was originally part of the, the spark plug and battery thing that they were doing, or if it's something new that they just didn't say about in the patch notes. But yeah, they drop engines now, I confirmed it, I personally have seen two engines pop out of them. Granted, they were low quality engines. They were only like, I think one was 19 and one was like 25, which isn't too bad. I mean, the last is when you don't crash into stuff. But, yeah, um, another thing that changed is these beginning huts here. You can see no longer have a destroy shelter command. Once you actually get another shelter under your name, they, uh, or you can destroy them with the axe. You still get the same amount, uh, the same, or not amount, but the same resources from them. However, you get less leaves and less branches, I believe. You get the same amount of sticks and ropes, though. So, there's that. <coughs> um, this is still a thing. This cascade of respawning resources there. Uh, personally tested it out, works just the same as it did before. Uh, another mechanic that has changed, uh, the beginning part of the game. You know, I'm being a little cautious, more cautious than normal here. Because that guy right there can now attack with a brain. He no longer attacks in one direction only. So now he can turn attack you um, if you see my other video on how to kill a bear it is no longer a valid video because now the bear turns with you you cannot get behind it which I don't know if I agree with that <coughs> excuse me because well I mean <coughs> You should still be able to get behind it, I, in my personal opinion. I don't think you should be able to chintz it like that, but I don't know. Maybe you can still sneak up on it and get the first hit, I suppose. So It is what it is there. I wonder if this one is destructible. Um, one of the things they made now is the small huts. Yep, this one is destructible. So now these small huts like this, the small, you know, the windows that you can't climb through but are open. And you can't really fit nothing in. These are destructible. Which means you'll get resources and stuff out of them when you destroy them. So theoretically this whole entire area here, this defense, this building, that, uh, everything here is destructible. So, you can destroy everything. Now, <clears throat> the one thing you need to do, though, is you need to set a base, and go back, and get the materials from your um, spawn endpoint. point. Now, it works the same as it did before in my other video, only you have to hit it with the axe. So, you have to actually go get an axe before you can do this now. Before, you could just go up to it, well, we didn't have to have no, no tools or anything. You could just select it and deconstruct it, which, I mean, I didn't see a problem with because it's just a little tiny shack thing, you should be able to destruct it, but, uh, deconstruct it. But, um, I mean, this works too, you want to hit stuff with an axe, fine. But yeah, as you can see now, it has durability. It takes about five wax, and it goes down, which ain't bad. I mean, it doesn't kill your durability on your axe much at all. 
So it's all good. But you, like I said, you get the same amount of stuff, same amount of ropes, same amount of sticks, uh, a little less branches, a little less leaves. But I think that's because they up the drop rate off of the trees. And there seems to be more coming off the trees, like as far as leaves and branches wise. There seems to be more of them coming off the trees. Um, I demonstrate, but you got to cut down a whole tree for that. And to see a, a difference, you'd have to cut down a lot. So yeah, no, I'm not going to waste time and cut down trees on a video. It's just boring. But take my word for it, I'm almost 100% positive that they've increased the rate of the leaves dropping or the spawn rate or however that works, however they do it. They've increased something. But just to give you an idea of, uh, oh wait, I can't do that now. I'd have to do that when I get over there. Alright, well... Can I still do this? Yeah, no. Because you cannot destroy base shelter. Okay. So, the one that you claim you cannot destroy. Which makes sense because <coughs> sense, it's your spawn point. So, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But anyway, uh, some other things that have changed. Uh, let's see, uh, I went over the huts, I went over the, yeah, the bear, um, the cars that dropped the engines and the static cars don't respawn. Now they said that they took care of the tree problem where if you, excuse me, cut down the tree and the stump, that it wouldn't grow back. And then they had in parentheses some. So apparently that only some of them grow back and some of them don't. I, I'm guessing is what that means because uh, every tree I've cut down so far and relogged is come back. But I mean, I haven't done a large number of trees in one bit. I just did like two or three trees and I logged off just to test it. They came back. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's a thing or the way that it did the patch notes is a little confusing though because like they had this section called draw. I don't understand what that means. Uh, and the actual explanation of what they did with bug fixes is very vague at best. They don't actually tell you exactly what they did. They just say what they did. They don't explain what that is. So like, you know, the, at the very end of the patch notes, they say there's a, 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 high, a header saying hashtag feature and underneath that feature is locked doors. Doesn't explain what doors. Doesn't explain if there's something that you want to do with a locked door. It doesn't explain at all. It just says locked door. Now, <clears throat> does that mean you can lock the door on your base? I don't know. You know, let's go. Let's let's go test that right now. We we have this base clean. Let's shut the door and see if we can lock it. I mean, if that's the case, if we can't lock the door now, and then the bandits can't just walk in, that's phenomenal. But I don't think that was an option. I didn't actually look, though, so... So, so far, interact is the only thing you can do. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe they mean the gate you can lock, or maybe they just... I don't know. Like I said, they need to be more specific specific with their patch notes because, I mean, that really didn't tell us anything really because the patch notes are just kind of, you know, like, I don't know. They're, they're, they're very confusing. Yeah, it doesn't translate well, uh, I guess. Because it's not making any sense to me. It could just be me. I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb and don't get it. I mean, it's possible. But I'd like to think I got a pretty good head screwed on my shoulders. Another thing I'd like to see in the game is a way to make glass bottles. Like, you know, you can charge two components to make a plastic bottle. Charge two components, or four components to make 
uh, a glass bottle. Because then we can just keep making bandages that we need. Because, yeah, if you have to bandage a wound three times to get it to heal all the way, uh, either make bottles more readily available, like have them everywhere that you can pick up, like seriously everywhere, or just make it to where you can build them like you do the water bottle. Because otherwise there's not going to be enough bandages. And I mean if that was the intention then great. But in a survival situation, most people that have been surviving for a while, um, and in this case, uh, it's been a three year long ordeal, so that this person, your character, whatever, has been surviving in this for three years. Now granted they were at a camp before this, so, you know, maybe they had an easy life there or something, I don't know. But, <clears throat> it would seem to me that, uh, you'd be able to make bandages out of any type of rags. I mean, yes, you do need alcohol for a sterile wound dressing, however you want to call it. Oh my god, I just realized you can stack bottles. Thank you, freaking Jesus. Okay, you know what? Good job, developers. We can stack bottles now, I'm happy. However, I do still think you need to make them to where you can actually make them. Instead of having to find them in the world. Because, yeah. Now, they might have already. I haven't checked out a workbench yet. Uh, so, it's entirely possible that I'm speaking out of my ass right now. So... Alright, but now I, I really gotta see something here. You can stack bottles. That's good. So let's just see here. They add anything to the menu? As far as I know, they didn't say anything about being able to craft plastic bottles. They just put it in there and it was a thing. Alright, so it's not in that menu. Okay, it's not in that menu. So, so far, no being able to build glass bottles. However, being able to stack them, awesome. Good thing. That is much, much needed. Another thing I wanted to show everybody. The last time I deconstructed this car with the axe, it gave me an engine. We're going to see if it does the same. Alright, here we go. Boom, engine. And the last one I believe we got out of this one was like a 20 something. Ooh, 47. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. So as you can see, now they drop engines. Not quite the idea that I had. I was thinking the drivable cars. But now, that gives you a reliable source of engines that you can have a decent amount of engines for a car. I, as far as I know, they only seem to be dropping engines. They don't seem to be dropping the spark plugs and batteries anymore. So maybe they just drop engines now and not drop spark plugs? Because I've only got an engine so far out of them. Maybe they just have a bigger chance to drop an engine. Oof. Okay, this one did not drop an engine. Okay. Oh, and it dropped a spark plug. Okay, so that confirms it. Uh, it has a chance to drop an engine or a spark plug so far, and I would assume they also battery. Um, that's just, that would just make sense. I'm sure they probably looked at that and thought, well, the engine's probably in the car too, so. 
So, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But anywho, I just wanted to show you that video real quick. Let you know that that's a thing. And uh, the update is uh, happening right now. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.